They aren't the most comfortable thing to wear, but face shields have been required by the IATF since December last year. However, just this week, Manila Mayor Isco Moreno says he can't wait to drop the requirement. Moreno says that as soon as enough people are vaccinated, he would even ban face shields in his city. Magastos lang yan. Pero for the meantime, continue using that because we have not reached our goal. Moreno says he had raised this already with the Metro Manila Council. The Manila mayor was quoted in earlier reports as pushing for an immediate lifting of the face shield requirement. But Malacanang immediately shot down that idea. So sa akin po, sa siyensya, may basahan po yan. Sa eh, halos lahat naman po meron ng face shield. So wala na pong extra gastos po yan. Hindi pa po siguro panahon para tanggalin ang face shield. Dahil hindi pa po tayo nakakalabas dito sa pandemya. Pangalawa, uh, wala pa po tayo sa level na tinatawag nating uh, herd protection. A February survey by Okta Research showed that only 6 out of 10 Filipinos wear face shields, even though violators may be arrested and fined. Many complain that the shields distort their vision and breathing, but the health department says a combination of a face mask, social distancing, and a face shield provides 90% protection against COVID-19. Professor Guido David of Okta Research admits that like many Filipinos, even he does not always wear face shields outdoors. The risk of transmission outdoors, if you're spaced out, you know, um, if you're far from other people, is probably uh, no, um, you know, minimal. However, David acknowledges that the DOH is correct that every bit of advantage counts in preventing COVID transmission. If it adds even just a little bit of protection, like if it adds 1% protection, um, why not? David says we might want to consider doing away with face shields once at least half the population is vaccinated. Thing is, only 5% have been vaccinated so far. And at the rate we have been going, that is going to take a bit of time. We're targeting about 30 to 50% of the population so if we have that in ncr we could probably have you know um you know our, our, uh less uh you know lessened use of face especially face shields i'm jacob lazaro and we are one news